it is very expensive, petrol's expensive, um, travelling's expensive. But who can travel at the moment? I mean, it's such a pain in the ass. Our pensions. The pension hasn't been increasing as much as inflation, so we find we're able to buy less. Yes, definitely. The money doesn't go as far as it used to, so prices are up. I do have some savings that are in um, fixed deposits and things, but um, hopefully I won't have to draw on them. And so I'm, I'm just trying to sort of cut down what we have daily um, to make it easier to survive on what we've got. Well, it's just one of those things, isn't it? It goes up, goes down. I mean, I'm of a generation where we have lived through extreme high inflation, much worse than now. So do anything about inflation because it's um, factors outside of anyone's control, isn't it? I mean, it's a worldwide situation, really. Is it going to affect you in any way? Not really, no, because my finances, fortunately, are fairly um, healthy. Is it going to affect, like, maybe your Christmas? Not really, no, because I'm going away with family who are going to provide for me, so it won't make a lot of difference to me. I don't have a lot of money, but we have a gentle Christmas, and we're just going to have a gentle Christmas again, just family Christmas. We're okay. okay. Pensioners are doing all right, actually, so, you know. Um, what with the price of fuel and the stock? A lot of wholesalers are not having the stock levels that they were. So we are struggling to get stock at the moment. Yeah, they need to look at the prices of fuel for a start because of the costs of everything. It's costing fortunes to buy all your stock. So they really need to step in and help. And COVID as well, this has put a big strain on lots of businesses, you know, so they've got to help. Totally in a, inevitable, it has to be. In uh, yeah, because um, everything has gone up. Um, yeah, all right. Um, the, the cost of supply, the goods, um, electricity, gas, everything has gone up. It's totally inevitable. It has to be. And now the governor or the Bank of England has to uh, sort himself out and put interest rates up because it is absolutely criminal that inflation is going up and we are getting 0.1% on our savings. That is ridiculous.